Okay, this is the book of um, Sirach, also known as Ecclesiasticus, the 30th chapter, the uh, 25th verse. It says, A cheerful and good heart, meaning mind, will have a care of his meat and diet. In other words, he will watch or she will watch what she eats. A cheerful and a good heart, meaning a mind or a brain that works properly. Okay? And one of the reasons why your mind would work properly is because you watch what you eat. You take care of your diet, your meat and your diet. Now, this will be a video response to and reaction to a video that Elder Pastor just put up entitled, I just completed a 21 hour, three hour intermittent fast, y'all. In other words, he fasted for 21 hours and uh, he had a three window hour of eating. Now, there are other people who do an 18-6, that's 18 hours of fasting, six hours, six, that gives you a six hour window of eating. Uh, some people do, which is my favorite, the 20 hour fast, and that gives you an uh, eating window of four hours. And ideally, you should do what is called a OMAD. OMAD is an acronym for one meal a day. And Elder Pastor I was talking about this video here with, with the guy you see here who happens to look like an Edomite, but he was saying he might be a Jake. Uh, the guy was going into, I think he said, if I heard him correctly, Elder Pastor, I think he said the guy didn't eat for seven days, something like that. And as you see the caption there, it says, why you don't need food? Because what we think is food in this society, nine times out of 10 is really drugs. It's not really food. You have something called the Food and Drug Administration, FDA. The, the so-called foods that we eat really double, doubles as drugs or witchcraft. When you think of the term drugs, think of the word pharmakia, which pharmakia is Latin, the Latin word for witchcraft. A lot of the so-called foods that we eat, they're heavily endowed with chemicals. Okay? And chemicals is witchcraft okay chemicals the ability to take chemicals and and put them together and uh you know what's the word i'm looking for take chemicals put them together and you create something that is a similar to to real food that's witchcraft that's not real food that's witchcraft and that's what we have in this society okay we got all these chemicals out there that esau you know, Esau and the top scientists that are being used to simulate, all right, the similitude, simulate or assimilate, I believe the word is assimilate, uh, similitude of real food. But the problem with that is it's chemicals and it doesn't work organically or naturally with the body. It works against the body. That's where you get all your diseases from. So what makes sense is to get back to the real food okay the real food that's why you have a, a store chain called whole foods as in real foods even though a lot of the so-called foods that they sell at whole foods a lot of them are endowed with chemicals as well okay so this is where the scripture comes in a cheerful and good heart will have a care of his meat and diet so you have to watch what you eat and you have to strive to eat real foods. See, when you eat real foods, you don't eat that much. Because there's a mechanism in your brain that signif signals you when you've had enough. The, the, there's a thing that goes off in your brain and says, okay, we've, we've had enough. Because you're eating real food. The problem is, a lot of our people, they're eating this with chemicals that double as real food, but they're not real food. They're empty chemicals. And they're devoid of nutrients that, that the body needs in order for the body to do what it has to do. Okay, which is to clean itself, to, to uh, strengthen itself, to take care of itself. You know, the problem is we're not eating real food. We're eating uh, assimilation of real food. 
which is not real food. It's basically drugs. Okay, and we keep eating more and more of it. Why? Because it's not real food. It's devoid of nutrients. Okay, and our body suffers for it. So you have to eat more and more of that crap, and before you know it, you're, you're morbidly obese. So if we get back to real food, we won't eat as much, and you can easily have something called OMAD, which is one meal a day. And for the rest of the day, you would be fasting. You would not be eating, uh, you would not be eating these empty chemicals, and all it's doing is bringing on more and more diseases which means your body is not at ease and making you more and more obese you see and um you know that's uh that's really part of the whole problem of why our people are so fat and morbidly obese and sick and uh they also they're killing each other they're uh, uh you know they're, they're crazy, they're demented. It all goes back to diet, okay? Because I found this article here, which I'm about to share with you. All right, this article here. Uh, hold on, hold on a second. I don't know what the hell happened here. Let's get rid of that. Bear with me for a minute. Okay, we'll see if we can find the article. Hell, the titles alone. You know, five ways junk food changes your brain. One in junk food can harm a teen's brain. Eating fast food can lead to faster, men faster mental decline. Junk food orders up trouble for young brains. So there's a connection between these jakes out here that are offing each other and the foods, the so-called foods that they eat, which is not foods at all. It's nothing but a concoction of chemicals and it's devoid of nutrients. But I want to get this, this article for you because I was reading it and it's... It's pretty interesting. Uh, junk food and the brain. How modern diets lacking in micronutrients may... This might be it. This might be it. I think this is it. Yep, this is it. This is the one. This is the one. Yeah, with the crazy... Yeah, yeah, I remember with the crazy looking Edomite right there. You know, the picture. See, a lot of our people, that that's pretty much... <laughs> the, 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 the look that this guy has describes the average mentality of our people. Our people are crazy, man. Oh man, oh no. Oh no. I hope I didn't. Uh, you have one. Uh, yeah, this is uh, this is nothing but Satan. This is nothing but Satan. <laughs> Shit. Yeah, this. Uh, they have something popping up, and I can't seem to. Let's see something. Let me see. Hope that box don't pop up. All these freaking pop-ups, man. Anyway, um, let's see if we can get get through this. Uh, junk food and the brain. How modern diets. Let me bring this over. Junk food and the brain, how modern diets lacking in micronutrients may contribute to irritability and anger. See? Irritability and anger. There you go. And the article would go into it. Alright. So what I'll do is put the article in the in the uh, description box and you can click on it and read it for yourself but the, t the 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 title of the article says it all junk food junk food and the brain how modern diets lacking in micronutrients 
may contribute to irritability and anger. And, and, and most of our people, especially uh, the, you know these young jakes out here, that's what they're suffering from, irritability and anger. So basically you are what you eat. Eating ultra processed foods tied to cogn cognitive decline. Your brain on food. Eating processed foods is hurting your brain, study says. Even two cookies can affect health. Wow. Damn, two cookies. Unless those cookies are made with real whole nutrients, real whole foods. Because you can make your so-called junk food, you can make a healthy so-called junk food. It depends on the ingredients that you use. The average junk food out there is, is concocted with chemicals, not real foods. Okay, that's the problem. <clears throat> uh, dementia risk may increase if you're eating these foods, study says. A junk food diet can change your brain in a week and reduce appetite control. <laughs> See? Reduce appetite control. That's why you ever find yourself every two hours you got to eat something? And there you go. You know why? Because you're not eating real food. You're eating a, an assimilation of real food, which is devoid of micronutrients. So your, your body needs that to survive. Your body needs that to do what it has to do. So every two hours, every three hours, you got to eat something. And that's not good. That's not good at all. <laughs> so pretty much that's it. I'm going to end the, <clears throat> excuse me, I'm going to end the video there. Hope you were edified on to the next one.